right, so I've got an edit there, quite happy with the picture. Now I need to tart the sound up. What on earth has gone on with the sound? For a start, when we did the wide shot, we just used the microphone on the camera. The camera happens to have a surround sound microphone on it, which is why I've actually got more bits of sound for this clip than I have for the other ones, because it's a surround sound camera. In other words, I've got the left and right front there, I've got the center and the subwoofer, and I've got the left and right back down there. For all the other shots, we stuck a Sennheiser mic on. So the sound only became stereo and it's all over one side. I need to sort that out. I can't have the audio all over one side. So how do I sort that out? Coming back to this one at the start, I'm just going to keep the front left and the right. I don't need the other stuff. I'm just going to dump them. And to do that, I'm going to do exactly what I did over here with this insert shot of Ringo. In other words, I'm going to hold down on the Alt key and select both of them and delete. Simplest way to get rid of them. Edis doesn't do surround sound. I don't need the surround sound, so I'm just going to use the front left and the front right. David. Next, I need to take this sound and I need to make it go all over one side. Now, again, there's various ways of doing this. What I like to do is to use an audio effect. There's a whole bunch of audio effects inside of Edius, just like there's an awful lot of video effects. I'm going to use an audio effect. So I'm going to come over here to the Effects tab, go down to Audio Filters, and select that, and you can see I've got a list of a few different filters or audio filters that you have in Edius. I want this one, Pan, Pot, and Balance. I'm going to drag that and drop it onto the clip. You'll notice as I dropped it, it highlight, and then a little orange line's gone on there to tell me there's an audio effect on it. Now I need to adjust that audio effect, because what I'm telling it to do is to say, get rid of everything on the right, take the left and put it in the center, please. This is the left, this is the right. So I want to get rid of the right, take the left and put it in the middle. And that's what I'm going to use this filter for. It's not the only way of doing it, it's the way I like to do it. I now need to adjust it. Well, as soon as I dropped it onto the clip, it popped up in this thing, the information window. The information window has been sitting there quite happily all through the edit, but we've never actually used it. It's telling me information, like what the clip's called, and where it starts, and where it ends, and how long it is, and so on. In this case, I want to adjust the filter that's on it. So I'm going to double click on the words pan, pot, and balance. And it pops up with the dialog box for this filter. There's different boxes for different filters. And you can see what this one does is it controls the volume of the left and the right. It controls the balance of the left and the right. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to take the left and whack it in the middle. And I'm going to take the right and get rid of it completely. So I've put the slider down that onto nothing, so there's no right channel. And I've put the left in the middle. Now without coming out of this, I'm just going to pop down to the timeline and play the timeline. I wanted to ask you about AVCHD. How easy is it to edit? Yep, that's got it sorted out. That might not be slightly in the middle. There we are. But there we are. That's got it centered. That was easy. Click on OK, and that's it. I've sorted out that clip. Now I need to do the same thing with all these other clips. And the easiest way to do that is, you've got this one selected, so you can see your old pan, pot, and balance down there. And then select all the other ones. Now to select them, I'm just holding down with the left mouse button and dragging a box over them, just like you would in any other sort of Windows program. And then I'm going to drag that pan, pot, and balance onto all those clips. And because they're all selected, it puts the same effect on all of them. That is very quickly said. Well, it's pretty easy to edit the stuff. Take all days. those clips is there a big difference between and bung them in the center. Some programs wouldn't take one or the other. That was quite easy, wasn't it? Now, I want to do something about the start. If I listen to that. Hi. Hi. David, I wanted to ask you about ABC PhD. That it's yeah, it could do with it being a little bit louder. Now to make it a little bit louder, I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to grab hold of a line and move it. If you look down on the audio here, you can see that you've got the little waveforms for the left and the right. You've also got a little blue line and a little orange line. The blue line represents the panning. Having centered all this stuff, I could actually start panning it left and right. The orange line represents the volume. I'm not going to play with the blue line at all. Not bothered about that. I'm just going to change the volume of the clip. I want to grab hold of that orange line and move it upwards. If I move it upwards, it gets louder. If I move it downwards, it gets quieter. 
I can't grab hold of it at the moment, it just won't let me. That's because you don't want to accidentally change the volume of the clip. But if I actually really want to change it, then what I want to do is come over here and click on this thing that says Vol Stroke Pan. Click on it once and I can fiddle with the orange line. Click on it a second time, I can fiddle with the blue line. I'm going to go back to the volume and I'm just going to take these points and whack them upwards. I don't know how much I've just moved it. Let's just play it and listen. Yeah, I think that's probably enough. So I just increase the volume on that slightly. Now there's loads of things you can do with these lines. You can put lots of little points on them and move them up and down. There's keyboard shortcuts for doing all sorts of things. You can right click on the little points as well. Let's just delete all of them and then move those upwards again. And there's keyboard shortcuts to help you out with it. And there's information popping up in the corner if you notice when I drag them. But for now I've just whacked the volume up on that a little bit. I've altered that so it's all in the center. Now having got the sound sorted out because I'm very short on space, I'm just going to click on the little triangle there and shut it down so I get a bit more screen space back. 